Hi, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how we leverage GitLab's multi-project pipeline feature in Secure Group for testing our analyzers. Um, we have our uh, defined jobs for our analyzers in a repo called CI templates, and we just introduced two new jobs. And they are already, um, you can already include those jobs in analyzers. So let's check into them in detail. So I will just go through one of them in detail and other one is the pretty much the same uh, logic. So this is for, um, depend this job is created for dependency scanning uh, analyzers. So with the multi-project pipeline, we can pass some variables uh, to the to the other projects pipeline and we can trigger them. So we disable all other analyzers except uh, dependency scanning because when we run the pipeline for dependency scanning, we don't want other analyzers to run. And we pass a, a variable that we, let, we use in our dependency scanning configuration. Basically what this variable says that use the image here that's defined for running the dependency scanning analyzer. And we will just trigger the master branch of the project. So we're gonna fill this information. And uh, this is uh, something that's uh, for the multi-project pipeline. So you just wait that pipeline's result. So if you go back to this diagram. So what we will do is like, we're gonna uh, create a, a job that will extend from the, the downstream DS job and we're gonna put the project that we want to trigger. So for instance, for Gymnasium Python, we would like to test Python pipev and Python pip. And what will happen is that Gymnasium Pipeline will trigger a pipeline for Python pipev using the image that's built for that branch. And the Python pipev will report the result of the pipeline. And if that pipeline passes, the Gymnasium Pipeline will pass. If that fails, it will fail. So how that looks, let's just check it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So I just forked the gymnasium Python into my own space just to show, demonstrate uh, this configuration, but it's already in our original gymnasium Python repo. So I just add these two jobs and um, we have the projects that we want to test and we just extend from that uh, the thing that we defined in the CI templates jobs. And if you create an MR, what happens is that we have now a new uh, stage called downstream. So that downstream is triggering two different projects and depending on their results, the downstream will pass or fail. So if you look at the pipeline in detail, so we can see everything is pretty much the same apart from this stage that's introduced. And these two uh, jobs for the test project will run and their results will affect the, the downstream stage. We, and this will run for branch, this will run for master tagging and release to make sure that uh, we have end-to-end -end integration test. Make sure that our analyzers don't break uh, if they are included in a test project. So we used to do this thing uh, manually by leveraging this variable. Now we can integrate this into our CI process.